Pam pam. Hello my friends and welcome. My name is Dennis and as you probably know I'm the airline pilot. Today I'm on a briefing. You can see many people. It's a good sign for aviation that is now recovering. Today I'm flying to Cairo airport as a first officer and coming back as a captain. The good thing for today that we are at the gate so we don't need to take the bus. Just walk to the airplane and fly. We have the Boeing 737-800 Papa Sierra November registration. I like this kind of aircraft. And here is also Papa Sierra X-ray Boeing 737. We have the focus for the rain here, but in Cairo it's kind of hot and sunny weather for now. However, the flight mostly will be uh, conducted during the night time. I hope I'll be able to film something on this camera on approach to Cairo. But first, let's get inside the plane. All right, here we are in a cockpit. Really like this airplane, fantastic one. And as probably your favorite, again, we have different MCDUs. It's okay, it's fine. It's totally okay for this uh, airplane for Boeing 737NG. The configuration for those MCDUs it's the same, just display is a little bit different and yeah, great, great airplane. Guys, what I do here is I put the departure airfield, the destination, the HECA is Cairo Airport and I put the route. Okay guys, uh, here's my plane <laughs> and the other one over there, that's the tug or pushback track going to push us from this park ascent we're on Delta 3 left and the weather is fine everything is so good let's fly we received the push back and start up clearance so I'm preparing the taxi chart and soon get start the push to start the push actually we need to release the parking brake because the pushback track is in connection and we are pushing back right now. On the right, you can see one more airplane. The pushback is standard for Brisbane. Number one. Number one. Gotcha. Here, I skip the engine number two start. So first, we start from the engine number two, then engine number one. If you have uh, some APU issues, first you need to call for the ground air starter and usually you start engine number one in that case and after that engine number two but here everything is usual and we are proceeding with the start so first i select the engine start switch to the ground check out the starter the air starter operation and to rising and then we're going to add the fuel and check the hd we received the taxi clearance, so now we're gonna turn to the left while Charlie 6 during a right to Bravo. It's a main parallel taxiway that's in parallel with the runway 36 right and 18 left. And we're gonna taxi all over this to the very end to take the holding point of round of 36 right via alpha 6 um, takes away there is the traffic on the front as you can see in the other air Boeing 737NG same airplane we are flying and it's uh, joined the apron via Charlie 4 after this airplane will taxi more faster so here we are line up on runway 36 right via takes away alpha 6 this is pretty much long run in Brisbane and I'll count down my friends and let you see the take of itself.
And now, my friends, I will show you why I choose this profession. So we are out of the clouds right now. Just look at it. It's absolutely gorgeous view. And I want to just put the music here, so enjoy. It's the night time my friends and as you can see I choose the different camera for this one so I think the Sony X3000 films a little bit better compared to Insta360 during the night time so just enjoy the simple eyeless approach there in Cairo airport. Check. Oh, no, it's well for you can tell the 397 where I said the eyeless zero flags and Let's fire for us. Speed check. 397, All the best. Thank you, sir. Cairo Tower, Kettenshaw 397, hello. Salam alaikum, we are full established around me, 057. Radio team, Troy Wakin, Speed check. 397, Cairo Tower, Radar Contact, Runway 05 Center. Wind 350, 12 knots, secure to end. Get to Get down, Get down. Speed check. Class 15. Can we just take a seat? Hello, Nikki Passage. This thing real lightly. Gear yeah. down, greens. Switches. Speed brake. Landing gear. Flaps. Capping crew notification. Range is completed. Cap clear to land. Minimum. Two hundred. 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 Two hundred
تمام اوكي اتفضل ان شاء الله بعد الترافيك اللي نازل ده ان شاء الله الممر معاك. 50 40 30 20 10 5 Speed break up, auto break, in use, reverse. Underground 1 to 0 4. 1 to 0 decimal point, attention to the same, all the best sir, see you. Town go 5. Uh, just a moment sir, I will contact. Uh, ground hello, Hager International 397, Salam alaikum, Tang 5 after vacation. Looking International 397, ground control to the left of air tango. Sierra 2, Sierra Whiskey 1, gate Echo 6. Uh, tango, Sierra 2, Sierra Whiskey 1, and could we say again the gate? Echo 6. Echo 6, Hager International 397, thank you. After the landing, we are not relaxed because just after vacation, we need to do the after landing procedure. We also need to contact the ground to check out our taxi route for our parking stand, and also we need to know our parking stand number, etc. So, yes, we are very busy during the runway vacation, so it's not time for relax. So, until the engines are shut down, do not relax. Pam pam. Cairo Airport, my friends. Uh, this is our bird 737, and there I can see the Airbus A330 of Saudi Air uh, Airlines and terminal building. Quite a nice place, uh, I would say. The taxi takes time uh, because the, there are multiple taxiway routes here and three runways. The runway 05 left is closed for now, so 05 right and 05 center are open. We have landed on runway 05 center, center and now it's time to go for the rest. We have almost five hours until the next flight, so we're gonna go to the lounge and probably take a nap. See you soon! My friends, I just wanted to make this video kind of short, so one takeoff from Cape Burspal Airport, landing in Cairo. If you want to see the other part, the takeoff from Cairo Airport, landing in Cape Burspal on the next day, tell me in the comment section just below, because we are communicating. And by the way, tell me if you like me speaking on the background or you just want to hear the pure flight, the communication between pilots and ATC. Tell me in the section, because we are communicating on this channel my friends so and of course I'll put the heart to a comment and I'll read it and my friends I know that you are awesome so just follow the awesome guy checklist first like this video after that subscribe to my channel ring the bell finally whatever it means thank you very much for your attention and have a great time pam pam